Good morning, Year 6. Welcome to Friday's Maths lesson. Um, today's Maths lesson is going to be a little bit different um, than it has been earlier in the week, just to mix it up a little bit. Um, so, first of all, we are going to have a look at um, a couple of questions from maths.co.uk um, that you've tried to do earlier in the week, um, and there's just ones that we noticed that lots of you have struggled with. Um, so, I'll go through those, and then the next part of the lesson is going to be a bit of a quiz. OK, so um, this question that's on the screen now, then it says a shop sells a um, bunch of the flowers. They use this formula to work out the cost of a bunch of flowers. So we've got we've got cost equals the number of flowers times 30p plus one pound twenty five. And the question says, what is the price of a bunch of six flowers? And they've put that six in bold for you there. So what we need to do is we need to put that number six into our formula to find out the cost. So the number of flowers is six times by 30p plus £1.25. So first of all, we're going to do six times 30p. Um, so six times three is 18 but I'm doing six times 30, so I need to add a zero to the end. So we've got 180p plus £1.25. OK, to be able to add those together, I either need to convert both of these to pence or both of these to pounds. I'm going to go for pounds because all the possible answers they've given me are in pounds. So I'm going to go um, 180p is £1.80, add my £1.25 going to do it as a column addition. Zero add five gives me five. Eight add two is ten. Remember my decimal point in my answer. And then I've got one add one add one gives me three pounds. So it's three pounds and five p. So the correct answer would be this one. I know there's a bit of a confusion when you were doing this between whether it should be three pounds five p and three pounds fifty. Remember, we've got to check our place value really carefully. And when we've done our column addition, we've got 305. So it's £3.05. OK, um, this is a question that you had a go at doing on Wednesday then. Um, so we've got a formula, x plus 2y equals 22. Remember, when we've got a 2 next to a letter, that means two lots of a number. So we've got a number plus two lots of a number equals 22. Um, really important, it says x and y are less than 10. Okay. If I'm working systematically um, to answer this question, I'm going to start off by trying x as being 1. So if x was 1, then I've got 1 add something equals 22. 1 add something equals 22. Well, I know that the something must be 21. But because 21 is an odd number, I can't have two lots of something that give me the answer 21. So x can't be 1, and that tells me that x also can't be any other odd number. So next I would try x being 2. So if I had x is 2 plus two lots of something equals 22. So my so I've got 2 plus something equals 22. My something here would be 20. Um, and I've got two lots of something that equal 20. So um, my y would equal 10, which would work to answer this formula. But my question says that if x and y have got to be less than 10. So x can't be 2. x can't be 3 because it's an odd number. So next I would try, could x be 4? Would that work for me? So if x is 4, x... 4 add something equals 22, and I know the something must be 18. Two lots of something to make 18 is 9. So if x is 4, y must be 9. And I can check that. 4 add two lots of 9, which is 18, equals 22. OK. Next, then, um, I can't do x is 5 because that's an odd number. I would try x is 6. So if x is 6, 6 add something equals 22. OK, so 6 add 16 equals 22. Um, 16 divided by 2 is 8. So if x is 6, y is 8. 
I'm not going to try x being 7 because that's an odd number. So then I'd try x is 8. So 8 adds something equals 22. My something then would be 14. But remember, I need two lots of something to make that 14. So it'd be 7. So x would be 8 and y would be 7. Those are my only possible answers. And I know that because the next one that I would try would be x equals 10. Well, straight away, if I go for x equals 10, I'm not fulfilling the question, am I? Which says that x and y must be less than 10. So that cannot work. OK, so hopefully that explains some of the questions that we've been struggling with a little bit this week, year six. Um, over to um, perhaps a more fun part of the lesson then. Um, we're going to be doing this each Friday. And if you've got siblings in other year groups, um, they're also doing something very similar. Um, so on a Friday, we're going to have a bit of a fun trivia maths quiz. So the way this is going to work, there are five categories. Each category has five questions, and for each question, you can earn points. So the earlier questions are worth less points. The earlier questions are worth 10 points, but the later questions in each category are worth 50 points. OK, you're going to record your points and see how many points you get. That's the idea. Um, you have 10 seconds to answer each question. So um, don't pause this video for once. I'm telling you, do not pause the video. OK, I want you to listen. Just have the 10 seconds. See if you manage to get the right answer in the 10 seconds. If you do, you get the points. If you don't, never mind. You try and have a go at the next question. OK, so these are our rounds. We're going to have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and then place value. OK, the questions in each round get harder as we go through. So category one, these are our addition questions. Um, and here is question one. So make sure you are ready with a pencil and paper ready to go. Question one, what is 39 add four? You have 10 seconds to write the answer. OK, the answer then is 43. If you got um, that correct, this question is worth 10 points. So give yourself 10 points. OK, make a note of that. Question two. This one is worth 20 points. What do I need to add to 785 to make 800? All right, time's up. The answer was 15. If you got the answer to that question correct, give yourself 20 points. OK, question three. What is 2,550 add 235? The answer was 2,785. If you got that correct, you get 30 points. OK, it's getting harder now, year six. Question four, a laptop costs £349 and an iPhone costs £580. How much would it cost to buy both? Time's up. OK, the answer you should have got was nine hundred and twenty nine pounds if you got it right that was some super speedy maths well done give yourself 40 points okay the hardest question in this round then rachel has saved 742 pounds and 60 pence how much more does she need to save to reach her one thousand pound target And time's up. Massive well done if you got that one. Um, the answer was 200, 
standard £57.40. And And if you got that one, you get yourself a massive 50 points. Okay, have a little breather, have a moment's breather. Okay, we are moving on now to the next round. Okay, again, it's going to start with the easier questions this time round though. Okay, remember they get harder as they go through. So question one is worth, is should be quite easy for you and it's worth 10 points. Okay, question one. What is 31 subtract 3? Hopefully you got that. The answer is 28. Give yourself 10 points if you got that one correct. Question two. What is 146 take away 7? Okay, the answer is 139. Give yourself 20 points if you got that one right. Okay, getting harder now. What is 187 take away 19? Okay, the answer you should have got is 168. Okay, on to our hardest two questions in this round then. Okay, if you got that one right, get 30 points. Complete the number sentence. 1,205 take away mm -mm, equals 1,104. Okay, the answer you should have got is 101. Okay, if you got that question right, give yourself 40 points. On to our final question and our most difficult question of this round. Which number sentence is correct? 420 take away 12 equals 432. 155 take away 10 equals 155. 1,238 take away 125 equals 1,110 or 4,244 take away 222 equals 4,022. Okay, and the answer to that one was D. If you got that correct, give yourself a massive 50 points. Okay, that is the end of round two. Okay, have yourself a little rest, have yourself a little breather. And we're going on to round three. Um, this time, again, we are starting with the easier questions and then getting harder as we go through. Okay, question one. Coming up. What is... Four times eight. Okay, and the answer we were looking for was 32. If you got that question correct, give yourself 10 points. Question number two. What is 12 times six? Okay, next, the answer we were looking for was 72, and if you got that answer, you get yourself 20 points. Question three. What is 25 times five? Okay, the answer we were looking for was 125. If you got that correct, it's 30 points. Question four, what is 43 times six? Uh, 
Okay, quite tricky to do in the time, that one. The answer we were looking for was 258. If you manage to get it, you get yourself a massive 40 points. Right, ready for our final and most difficult question of the multiplication round. Which is the correct number sentence? Is it A, 4 times 25 is 120? B, 3 times 20 is 6? C, 60 times 40 is 2,400? Or D, 70 times 4 is 2,800? Okay, the answer we were looking for was C, 60 times 40 is 2,400. If you got that correct, it's a massive 50 points for you. All right then, a little breather, that's the end of the multiplication round. Okay, we're going on to the division round in a moment. Again, we're starting with those easy 10 point questions and building our way through. Okay, question one coming up. Question one, how many twos are in 22? And the answer we were looking for is 11. OK, question two. What is 64 divided by 8? And the answer we were looking for was 8. Question three for 30 points. What is half of 258? And if you got that one correct, it was 129 for 30 points. OK, question four. It's getting harder. What is 320 divided by four? OK, the answer we were looking for was 80, and that gets you 40 points. OK, the final question, the 50-pointer. How many nines are in 4,500? And we were looking for the answer, 500 for 50 points. OK. Have a small breather before that final category. That final category is place value. So once again, we're starting with the 10 point questions and working our way through to the 50 point questions. Right, question one coming up. What is one less than 1,000? And we were looking for the answer, 999 for 10 points. Question two, what is the value of the two in 12,578? Okay, the answer we were looking for was 2,000. OK, that gets you 20 points. Question three, write down the following number. I'm not going to read it to you. I want you to read it on the screen and write it down. OK, the number was 3,426,252. So check your answer against the digits on the screen very carefully to make sure you've got that correct. OK, if you have, it's 30 points for you. Question four. What is 11,000 more than 4,365? Uh, 
Okay, the answer we were looking for was 15,365. If you got that one correct, it's 40 points for you. And the final question, which number is equivalent to the number in digits on the screen? You've got four options, A, B, C and D. Have a read and have a go. Okay, we were looking for C, 5,035. I apologise, my screen is wrong on that question. That's not what we were looking for. We were looking for, um, the, the, question, the number is 5,010,135. The answer is C, though. OK, year six. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that quiz. Um, add up your total points that you've got um, for all the different rounds. Um, keep a note of it. I'd love it, actually, if you could share your points um, in the chat function um, and see how many points you've got today, because um, we'd love to see how you get on. There'll be another quiz coming up next week and you can challenge yourself to beat your points from today. OK, and um, that's not actually the end of our maths lesson for today, though. What we now want you to have a go at doing is we have put um, an arithmetic paper, um, especially created arithmetic paper um, in the maths folder as well. So we would now like you to have a go at that arithmetic paper. Just do it um, in your book, write the answers in your book. Um, and then I want you to come back and watch the second um, video for this maths lesson, where I will be telling you the answers um, to the questions, but also I'll be picking out some of those trickier questions and explaining the answers as well. OK, so you need to go away now and have a go at the arithmetic paper and then come back and watch the next video, please.